show using algebra that x squared minus 2x plus 5 is greater than 0. Okay. Uh, so we're going to use algebra. We can do it graphically. I'll first use algebra and then I'll show it graphically. Okay. So I'm going to use the method called completing the square. So x squared minus 2x plus 5 I want to show is positive. It is always greater than 0. This is what I want to show. Okay. So this is what I want to prove or show. So let's take x squared minus 2x plus minus minus 2x plus 5. Okay, so I'm going to write this. This is the same as writing x squared minus 2x. I'm going to write plus 5 here. Now to complete square, what do, what we do is you do the half of negative 2, which is negative 1, and then square it. So if you take, if you add 1 here, this will become a perfect square. And then immediately you take away 1. Okay, so this becomes and this is a perfect square. This 3 is a perfect square of x minus 1, the whole squared, and this becomes plus 4. So this is equal to, uh, now, this is where you have to simply use your logic. Okay, so here it says, this you can say x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to x minus 1, the whole squared plus 4. Now, when you, whenever you're squaring any number, that's never, it's always going to be positive. So you can say now, x minus 1, the whole squared is always greater than 0. This is always going to be great because it's a square of a number. It's always greater than 0. It cannot be 0. It cannot be negative. It's always greater than 0. And this implies x minus 1, the whole squared, plus 4, is greater than 0. Okay, now let's think about it in a graphical way. When you, if you graph this, this tells me the vertex form. This is also, I call the vertex form. So from this, I can say this is a, this is a quadratic equation, and the vertex of this is 1, 4. 1 comma 4. So this is the lowest point. One vertex is 1 comma 4 means your y value is never going to go below 4. So if you graph this, a sketch of it, the sketch would look like this. The sketch is like this. Okay, so this point is, we know the y-intercept is going to be 5, and this point is 1 comma 4. So your, you take any value of x, your y value is never going to go below 4. And that's why, or you can also say, if you want to be more specific, y minus 1, the whole squared, plus 4, you can say is always greater than equal to 4. Is greater than equal to 4. It cannot be less than 4. It's either equal to 4 or greater than 4.